Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this devlog I'll show you what I achieved last week. Besides the compass you see on the top of the screen. As you can see there is a barrel rolling. Yeah, I added a kind of physics like uh, yeah, stuff to the barrels so you can yeah, uh, have it a bit more um, realistic in the game scene. And of course we can hit these and now you see um, these barrels are under physics now and I think it's uh, kind of looking good. Uh, <laughs> you see it rolling there. Um, yeah, I, I really like this new approach of uh, physics. Um, I'm thinking about also uh, making the character having a rigid body that can push things around because as you can see uh, we cannot push them around um, because the character does not support uh, stuff like this. But I'm, but I'm thinking about just adding this kind of new action. Then, in one of my last devlogs I already showed you that these NPCs are having some kind of a speech bubble uh, with a text in it. And you see now it has uh, kind of rounded corners and it's a bit more transparent. And as you can see, when we um, yeah press the action key, the discussion or the dialogue starts. And yeah, this is kind of good. And as you can see, we added a few NPCs. I uh, can show you some of these. Uh, this one you know already, uh, which tells us something about <laughs> the island. That's far away. Uh, sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Now you see some... Um, yeah, empty uh, speech bubbles. These are, <laughs> uh, to be honest, some in-depth uh, characters. But this is an warrior, for example. I populated the whole map with NPCs that are running around and uh, yeah, talking to you. So let's just jump right into the city where the population really, really, really is noticeable. So now we're in a Saria town and as you can see there's <laughs> a quite good amount of NPCs that are also animated. As you when you when you look closely he's moving. This is an idle animation for these characters. Some of these uh, just have the same yeah, speech bubbles because I didn't enter a text yet. But as you can see, they are moving around. And the whole place now looks really, 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 really um, good and and full of life. And this little man is walking up and down in his little garden. And I think it's kind of cute. And maybe he will talk to us with uh, some guides on how to plant stuff or harvest stuff. And yeah, also there are uh, yeah little groups. Uh, of people who are talking about maybe a little secret. Uh, you might have to guess what to <laughs> to solve some quest. And as you might have noticed, these guys are having problems rotating in the right direction. Um, he <laughs> just took a took a little step back uh, while rotating. Um, yeah, this is a kind of an issue um, with the rotation stuff and these rigid bodies. I'm about to fix. But it's okay, I think uh, as a work in progress feature it's uh, totally, totally okay to have this kind of bug. So let's move right on to the next warrior. Uh, every tower you see in the game has a, a specific warrior for it. And you see he's uh, having a sword. And I think I like this little, little, little customization of these characters. Um, I'm about to give... All NPCs with a special role here in this little village. Um, some, yeah, special items to get yeah, to let the player know uh, what is uh, what his job is. For example, I will um, create a hammer with blender, and then uh, yeah, just give <laughs> this to Harold, so Harold can uh, yeah make new pickaxes and swords. And something like that. Oh, this character is telling us something about uh, <laughs> an abbreviation. What is so stressful? Nirok, come, tell me. 
Today I think I will walk around the upper gardens. There are some nice animals I want to watch. I hope they don't get aggressive. And now he's taking a long route uh, yeah, to <laughs> see his uh, target animal. Nice. As you can see, here I also populated these stands with, or these cards, um, with items you cannot buy because I do not want to have um, a shop functionality or shop system in my game because I think everything in the game should be, yeah, should be solved by finding stuff, crafting stuff and adventure the whole world so uh, it's a little bit of cheating to <laughs> to just buy these um, yeah things that's why i maybe also remove here this money stuff or gold stuff and these barrels might drop anything else but no money but i think it kind of looks cool that uh, the items you can have in your hand are like this uh Oh, this is the pickaxe is uh, there. I got just an X in the sand. Um, you can find in the world, and I think this is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and with this life in this this village and in the whole Azaria world, I think the whole game comes more to life, and I love it. I really love it. Of course, um, if you walk through the city, it's kind of annoying these uh, text bubbles, but I think this is kind of in, yeah, in-depth progress. Um, maybe when playtesting it, I think it's too much, so I'll just remove them again, or I um, yeah, reduce the radius a little bit, so that maybe if, if you're about here to get the preview speech text bubble, um, but I think this is uh, now about testing and uh, yeah, kind of like if you if you like it then then uh, uh, yeah leave it as that, and if not then I'll just remove it or reduce the radius. And I think this is quite some good progress I made last week. Um, it just without this uh, compass bar at the top of the screen. Um, I'm also about to make some soundtracks for this game, so stay tuned for the next devlog or next video where I show you the next uh, yeah soundtracks of this game. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please hit the subscribe button to not miss any updates on this game Azaria. And hit the like button if you liked the video and hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video. And maybe please write a comment what you would like to have in the game, what I can improve or what you didn't like in this video. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!